born in Buenos Aires in 1912. Professor Adolfo D. Obieta is a lawyer, a doctor of law, a philosopher, and an eminent literary personality who has written poems and essays, particularly on peace, disarmament, international understanding, international law, humanism, and non-violence racial prejudices, etc. East-West cultural integration and his famous books include Solar Generology, Terrors of the Year 2000, Time of Prophecy, etc. Both in personal as well as in public life, Professor Obieta represents the quintessence of the Gandhian spirit and ideology. Gandhi has been his leading light and he seeks to leave by the words of his master Mahatma Gandhi. He has been stressing timelessly and continuously the supreme relevance of Gandhi's principles of truth and non-violence. This persistence has paid and there is an increasing recognition and appreciation of these values today in Argentina. Professor Obieta is therefore called the Argentinian Gandhi. During the Chilean crisis in 1971, Professor Obieta both by writing articles and formulating several non-violent proposals brought about a distinct change in the situation. In the field of humanism, his activities include participation in Dialogue of Cultures, a colloquium organized by UNESCO. He also took a leading part in the movement to create a year of international reconciliation and visited India in 1984 at the invitation of the Indian Council of Cultural Relations. Professor Obieta, has for a generation of Argentinian been virtually a guru, a guide, a philosopher, and a friend who exemplifies Gandhian ideals and inspires their adoption by personal example and personal persuasion. Agradezco con sentimiento que no encuentro palabras para testimoniar el excepcional galardón que me confiere la Fundación Yamnalal Bayach, distinción que unida a otras recibidas de esta ilustre nación, colma mi ánimo de gratitud y de maravilla ante una generosidad que no puedo interpretar sino como expresión de cordialidad entre nuestras naciones, India y Argentina, a las que por cierto unen sinceras relaciones culturales y mentales. Estimular el conocimiento de la vida y doctrina y obra del Mahatma Gandhi fuera de la India es una espléndida misión de servicio que la Fundación Yamnalal Bayach, fiel a este patrono que trabajó sin pausa en secundar a Gandhi en la epopeya de liberación de la conciencia humana, presta a la comunidad de los hombres, tan necesitada de inspiración gandiana para superar los conflictos generados por descontrolados intereses y pasiones egoístas. Emociona en verdad el compromiso asumido por esta noble institución, pues contempla a la vez progresos constructivos en el orden interior o nacional y progresos constructivos en el orden exterior o internacional, a través de la difusión de la universalista filosofía gandiana fundada en la verdad y la no violencia. Divulgar con autoridad la obra de Gandhi es un generoso servicio de la India a la sociedad humana toda. Mahatma Gandhi sobrevive no solo en el bronce y en la memoria colectiva de la humanidad, sino que se proyecta en la evolución ascendente de la conciencia humana. This is what he says. I am grateful for the prestigious award that the Jamnal al Bajaj Foundation is conferring on me. I am at a loss to find appropriate words to express my feelings. This award, along with others received from this illustrious country, overwhelms me with gratitude and wonderment in view of the generosity which I cannot but interpret as an expression of the warmth between our two countries, India and Argentina, united by sincere cultural and intellectual bonds. The mission of promoting abroad the understanding of Mahatma Gandhi's life, thoughts and his work is indeed an excellent service mission. 
True to the spirit of the patron who worked incessantly in his support to Gandhi, an epic task of in liberating human consciousness, the Jamnalal Bajaj Foundation must be commended for carrying on this service to mankind, so utterly in need of Gandhian inspiration to overcome conflicts caused by unbridled passions and selfish interests. Working to promote Gandhian values with the backing of India's prestige is this country's number one service to humanity. It is like working for a cause of a conversion or a transmutation of a community of this planet. It is like consciously striving to raise the standards of relationships among the member countries of the universal family. Finally, let us not forget that in 1969, the birth centenary of the Mahatma, a Gandhi library was set up in Buenos Aires under the kind of spices of the Indian Embassy. I also recall that a street in Buenos Aires was named after Gandhi several years ago. Mahatma Gandhi continues to live, not only in statues and in the collective memory of mankind, but also, and more importantly, through his ideas that have led to a more positive evolution of human consciousness. Thank you.